what is this next frontier of diversity and inclusion? And we feel that it is to focus on class and people who are the first. And when I say the first, I mean people who are pioneers in their family. We've defined a first generation professional as someone who is one of the first in their immediate family to enter into the professional workplace, meaning that their parents either held traditional blue collar positions or working class positions that didn't require a college degree. If we endeavor to have a workforce that's representative of the diverse American population we serve, and is drawn from all sections, don't we want to make sure that we don't impede opportunities for people who come from lower income backgrounds to be in this workforce, to lend their knowledge of the communities that we serve? Class transcends all diversity dimensions. Race, gender, national origin, religion, it transcends all of that. Now draw on your background as a strength and leverage that grit, loyalty, and flexibility instilled in you by your parents and empower yourself to realize your full potential. Coming from a first-generation, low-income background, I face challenges with navigating school resources, feeling supported, and adjusting to social life on campus. In academic settings and extracurriculars I am involved with, it can be hard to relate to many of my peers who have the connections and networks that I just don't have. Having to balance work and school helped me develop a strong work ethic and a determination to succeed. I learned time management skills and how to develop my social networks. And I think first generation professionals should be proud that they are trailblazers. You know, they come from hardworking families and they're expanding into this area of occupations that others in their family have not done. But we know that if we really believe in diversity and inclusion, and we want people with different backgrounds and thoughts and perspectives, that's the exact mix we need. Because if you don't have tension in the workplace, you don't get creativity and innovation. But what I want all first generation professionals to uh, know and those people who are allies to them and in their corner is that we should not be judged by the heights we have risen, but from the depths we have climbed and that's Frederick Douglass. Throughout your life, there will be a number of people who will doubt you, but you do not get to be one of those people. This is just the beginning of the journey. This is just starting the conversation.